morning guys, how are you all doing today? Hope you've been fresh and well and beautiful on this kind of fine uh, Tuesday. I feel rather fine, even though the weather's a little bit cloudy and stuff at the moment. If you don't know, uh, today is the day where I'm basically going up to Birmingham to go to a rather big meeting, probably one of the biggest meetings I might have ever had, maybe. Um, I obviously can't really say much about it at the moment, uh, just in case I can't really give anything away. I'm not nervous, I'm more apprehensive because they initially emailed me and said, we've got an opportunity you might be interested in. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm interested. And then it's led on and obviously a week and a half ago, I think it was now when I did that video and sent it to them, they contacted me back and stuff. I'm now going out for a face-to-face -face meeting, which is exciting, yet kind of scary at the same time. Is it just me, or is that lorry pretty damn terrifying? Is that just me, Holly, or is that pretty no, terrifying? that's pretty damn terrifying. That, I don't know what to say about that. I, was, I saw it from a distance, just saw babies like, driving along the road, so that is a bit scary. Wow, it's windy today. All right, so we've just made it to, we are across yet? No. We just made it to Birmingham in good time. We've got like an hour-ish before my actual meeting. So we just made it to uh, the ball ring, like shopping center. I think we've been here once before, possibly. Holly said I've got a pair of shoes here. Holly's full of good facts. <laughs> but I think the first stop for us now is just gonna be to get something to eat, nice little drink, nice little relax for an hour. Then we gotta go find where my actual meeting is. I knew it wouldn't be that far away. Found it, Holly. <laughs> okay, so we just sat down, had a cheeky little latte. And I don't know why, like, I feel fine. But my stomach's saying, no, you don't feel fine. He's all like this. He's a knot. Scared, Holly. I shouldn't be scared. I should be fine. But it doesn't stop my stomach. I can't control it. <laughs> but I gotta go. 12.48, my meeting's at 1.15. It's about 15 minute walk. I think that's perfect timing, so I've got to go. Holly's gonna stay here. Holly brought a uni work and stuff with her to do, so we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Good luck. See you later. All right, dudes, I've nearly made it there now. Just been chilling out, listening to some music on the way back, calming my nerves. Wish me luck, guys. Nearly there. Wow. All right, dudes. So, just come out of the meeting, and apologies if you can't quite hear me. The wind is rather strong at the moment. Uh, but that went very well. I knew I didn't really have kind of anything to worry about, but obviously you, you can have those nerves now and again. But it went awesome uh, i met with uh, two guys and they basically told me what they were looking for um would i be sort of interested in this kind of opportunity and project and all that sort of stuff which i was a hundred percent uh keen to to work on and to kind of take forward uh nothing has been um set in stone or anything yet obviously they just want to kind of speak to me see some of my previous work and all that sort of stuff but at the same time see if i was able to do it with dates and times and all that sort of stuff but this could be one of the best and most exciting projects i've kind of ever got involved with so fingers crossed that i'm actually gonna get it <laughs> Alright, so we just walked back to the ball ring now. Got to go meet Holly again, and I bet she hasn't even moved yet. I bet she's still in Cafe Nero. But she's still sat on that sofa. Hello! That was quick. How was it? I am sweaty now, humid. Uh, it went very well. Yeah. yeah. It's good. I enjoyed myself. Um, I can't say too much of these dudes. 
I'm going to have to explain what happened in the meeting to Holly. So I'm not allowed to broadcast anything yet. But I will if I'm allowed to. I'll let you know. I tried dragging her past, but she said no. She's going in, look. You're going in on your own? Well, I might as well come get some food now we're here. It'd be rude not to, right? <laughs> so, you know, every time I come in a wagon moment, I always go to the same. Uh-uh, not today. I'm on a different holly. I'm feeling rather naughty, so I've gone for a beef massa man with rice. And, no and I asked for no chilies. So, if they do this little squiggle, no that means no chilies in wagon moments. But this looks flipping scrummy, and I win because Holly doesn't have hers yet. Wagon mamas. Oh, I love you. You never fail to disappoint us. Is that the right way to <laughs> I just thought, I just said that completely wrong. That sounded like I was disappointed in the food. No, no, no. no, no. I meant to say, you never fail us. It was awesome. It was amazing. Well, it was incredible. You never disappoint us, wagon mamas. I was flipping scrummy. That was oh, the best. That was so good. Way to impress Holly. Take it away, mamas. <laughs> Look how old that building is. That's been there since 1365, I believe. 68. 68. 1368. That is flipping awesome and old. Right, we gotta walk our way back to the car now. Ollie, it's this way. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was this way. We can go this way. Oh, okay. It looks cool down here. Okay. There's loads of graffiti and cool type buildings. I mean, look at this. See, it looks cool down here, right? Cool. Yeah. So I walked down this way earlier and I didn't even see this dude. I don't know how I missed him. How did I miss that? That is in flip incredible. Is it actually a tree? Is that a tree? It definitely feels like a real tree, but I don't know if it is. That's crazy. Whoa. Who's your friend, Holly? My friend. Yeah, look at him. Hey, That's your little friend. <laughs> he looks cool. My little octopus friend. Hello. Favorite. Oliver. Favorite. You want your picture taken with him? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you match him with your orange top. Take a picture of me and Oliver. <laughs> Oliver. I love giving names to like inanimate objects and things. <laughs> like this. Be an octopus. Oh, I turned it off. Sorry. Hold on. Right, take two. Ready? Be an octopus. <laughs> yeah, that looks awesome. There he is. Boop. Look at this graffiti as well. It's so cool. This is such a cool part of the city. Everything is like that. How flipping sweet. I love graffiti. Oliver's your favourite. There's the butt of another one. <laughs> Me and Holly just stopped off in some services, Gloucester services, they're new. This is like the coolest service station I think I've ever been in. I mean, this is a service station on the side of the motorway. Look at this, looks amazing. Trees with flipping lights in. I mean, this is designed. It's actually under like a mound of mud as well, as so you can actually see it from the outside. This is what the future should be. Look at it, farm shop. Normally service station is all about unhealthy foods, fast foods, fizzy drinks and stuff. No, no, here it's a selection of fine breads. Everything you want healthy wise, look. Peppers. Peppers in a service station. Can you believe it? They've got their own butchers. I mean, look at this. You can eat some wild boar. Cheese. Olives. Nuts. You need to see the cakes. Look at this. Fudge bar. What else we got? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my word. That looks incredible. I love ten. <laughs> You'll have ten of them. Yeah. Flipping service station, Holly. What's that all about? It's should incredible. We get, should we get some fudge? You want some fudge? Would you like fudge? 
I love fudge. You get a couple of bits. We could. I mean, when in Rome. Why not? Or in Gloucester service, service station. <laughs> and that behind us is the building we were just in. Roof. This is the roof. There's like a window up there, as you can see. So it must be like really, really energy efficient because that keeps like the heat in and everything. But this is so cool. Like we were just saying, this is such a good concept because it's, it looks good. It's like healthy foods and everything in there. Apart from the massive cakes. Apart from the cakes. cakes and stuff, but everything's like homemade. homemade and natural and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, it's just a really, really cool concept to make service stations more healthy and- well, It's more interesting, right? Yeah, more say, interesting. It's not just the a... same old crap in every other service station. These are like kind of well thought out, well designed, just like a nice atmosphere, nice experience and stuff. We've got ourselves our coffee. No, we've got a. How long do you reckon until we get home? Um, just over an hour. Just over an hour? That's not bad. Where do we even park, Polly? Okay. Yeah? Alright, yeah. I trust you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one here. This is mine. This one, yeah. Yeah. We just thought then, maybe this just shows our age that we just enjoyed a stop <laughs> in a service station on the side of the motorway. We are getting. Does that make you feel old? A little bit. Sorry guys to disappoint you, but I found this service station. <whistles> kind of looks like a Teletubby hill. <laughs> interesting. It was interesting. It was a fun experience. Well, we had fun and that's all that matters. So on the way back home Hi. today, we thought we'd stop off and see Melissa and Toby. Explain to them what happened and they've now created wonders. <laughs> Explain to them what happened and this out. Turned and up. This, this has turned up. Wow. Beans, chips and egg. You can't go wrong with beans, chips and egg. More food, more food. So we just had one of those crazy long evenings just chatting, 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 chatting talking, talking, talking about everything. Aliens, ghosts, like conspiracies, robots, I am, flipping, I am, uh, robots AI, AI everything. We're like... Yeah, um, Melissa's... Brain, brain, mind, brain. Melissa doesn't really yeah. think or talk about this sort of stuff. I could talk about this stuff all flipping night and that's pretty much what we've been doing. And then to finish it all off, we just went on Facebook, locally, like five, not even five minutes from like our house, a scrapyard's caught fire, <laughs> like huge <laughs> mountain of metals caught fire, Poisonous. major smoke, full of magnesium, there's a helicopter <laughs> flying around with a tannoy telling everyone to keep the windows and doors shut on your house because there's magnesium and it's very poisonous. Well, the funny but thing, Will, the funny thing that will happen is people will be going, What's that? Yeah. Derek, what's they say? There's a flipping tannoy outside, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, How flipping crazy is that? If we were at home, we would have actually heard the helicopter. Oh, yeah. right. oh, we missed it. And they would have had a bing bong. They would have had a staff going. announcement. Please lock bing your doors. Bing <laughs> announcement on the tannoy, a bing bong. Not like one of them. Um, can Steve come the spillage in aisle five? It's not There's what's a what's big happened. fire in Glastonbury. Is it Greece? when she was ding ding? It's not going to be that one of them. It's like a bing bong. I think. Yeah, I think so. It would be good if it was. It would have been good. I wish I kind of filmed it. Apologies to everyone who might have been affected. <laughs> by this badly badly yeah. by this it's quite a serious matter but However, it would have been good for the vlog mum lives opposite and she, she, yeah she my mum lives opposite it. and she was in the hot tub when it happened the helicopter flew over <laughs> <laughs> and said you gotta get inside and that is no joke because Melissa is so I just actually her and she said we were sat in the hot tub at the time <laughs> Oh, crazy. But she said it wasn't that bad the wind took it the, the other wind way. was blowing it the opposite way which then, is good and then I just said it's all over Facebook, so there's a helicopter flying over telling people to stay inside. And she said, yes, I think there were two helicopters with loudspeakers. <laughs> two. <laughs> two, two, not one, two. <laughs> all right, dudes, just made it home after a flipping awesome day. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's kind of been liking and giving support and everything. It's amazing that you do that. It's so flipping awesome. Um, fingers crossed that I'll hear very soon about this kind of secret opportunity. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I'm allowed to, and as soon as I know anything more, um, I'll obviously keep you guys informed. But I think now it's time for me to lie on a pillow and go to sleep for a few hours because I'm rather knackered after a long day. Good day for you, Holly? It has been great. It's been great. It has been great. It's been great. Yeah, it's been great.
it's been awesome. So yeah, like I've just said, thank you for the support and stuff. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Remember those three very important things, which are... Um, my shadow. <laughs> which are... Eat more fudge. Eat more fudge. Drink more coffee. Yeah. Go to more awesome service stations. <laughs> <laughs> and your next time. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye! Where do I see myself in five years? I don't know. Hopefully doing all of those things, but if I go back five years and you ask me that same question, where do you where do I see myself in five years' time, which would be now?